Gazi Rahman and you are watching Tech Break. So, today's video is all about the new 12th gen processor, right? So, basically, in this video, we are going to compare Intel 12th gen 12900K, the flagship processor, with the previous generation 11900K flagship processor. So, our office is a current workstation, that's a 11th gen workstation. Uh, 11900K processor with uh, Z590 or master motherboard, both GB RAM, ase, around 8 GB of storage, uh, 2080 Super, uh, sorry, 2070 Super uh, graphics card, ase, Nvidia. So, we are gonna upgrade from there to the 12th generation, e -bosher, workstation. E so, before we do that, um, jeta plan tham, jeta let's make a video je 11th generation versus 12th generation, which is the performance gap. আমরা সবাই জানি এতদিন বলতে আমরা যে ভিডিও রিভিউ চলে আসছে অনেক গ্লোবাল এখন আমরা জানি যে 11th generation আর 12th generation এর মধ্যে পারফরম্যান্স গ্যাপটা অনেক সো আমরা ইন হাউস এটা টেস্ট করে দেখতে চাচ্ছি পারফরম্যান্স ডিফারেন্সটা কতটুকু সো উই আর গোনা বিল্ড আ নিউ 12th generation সিস্টেম উইথ আ Z690 ROG উইথ দা ইন্টেল 12900K প্রসেসর উই হ্যাভ গট আ RTX 3080 গ্রাফিক্স কার্ড হিয়ার এবং যে যেটা টেস্ট বেঞ্চে আমরা সেটআপ করব নট অ্যাকচুয়াল সিস্টেম সো উই আর ইউজিং দা XC800 शो इंटल So guys, our 12th generation system build is system build is done. So next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what's the difference between 11900K and 12900K is. So let's check out some benchmark numbers.
moments later. So guys, I'm the first system. The first system to hold on the office is a current workstation. So that's the 11900 processor with the Z590 Oros Master motherboard. Shate on the 32 bus speed 32 GB kit at and we're using multiple hard money storage device like at a 2 GB RAID with uh, I think 6 terabyte of uh, hard disks. So this is our first system, right? So basically, I'm just going to we didn't want to go for all those big uh, benchmarking software, just simple. I'm just going to see that Lemon's term, how different is 11 Gen i9K processor to the 12th Gen i9K processor? So I'm going to show you 12th generation has more cores to work with. Now there high performance core as said, then we have got the efficiency core. So we just wanted to see what this much amount of raw power translate to, right? So the benchmark. So basically, I'm going to find out Kursi while running Cinebench R283. Sorry, I'm going to see my mobile and see the result. So basically, Cinebench R283 is single core. I'm going to see 11... What is it? 11900 k Had a score of 1625. I'm going to see multi-core. I'm going to see multi-core. Multi-core is going to see Cinebench R283 had a score of 14,741, which is very acceptable score. Kintu, I'm not going to same Cinebench R23 uh, benchmarking. I'm the 12th generation PC. They run Kuzi, Jedalo, I'm about the 12th generation of the PC down of Bill Kuzi, 12th generation PC. We have got uh, 12900 K processor with a Z690 ROG motherboard, 32 GB of high speed memory, the total of Banu Shubasar. So this is our whole system and we are running it on a 1 terabyte of NVMe M.2 SSD. So a system which we have run we had a score of, I am not going to say single, 1900 plus. So I am not going to say that our previous generation, 11 generation, almost 300, single core, 300 points at a boost of the 12 generation as well. And we are going to say that we are Multi-core khetre chai, multi-core rendering khetre chai, the result is off the charts. Amad the ekhane jodi like eleven generation jekhane amra paisi around koto. Amar to check kore bolia ekhane kore the number. We got around fourteen hundred like fourteen thousand seven hundred and forty one. So fourteen thousand seven hundred and forty one. Abong amad the twelve generation system jodi twelve generation had a score of twenty six thousand plus. 26,000 plus, so 14,000 at 26,000. I'm not really hishap kori almost koto at 12,000 at gap as a 12,000 point at gap multi code in the game. So, yeah, so guys, 12 generation there come amore performance that how we are going to show you because 12 generation performance of a mother channel kitchen. I already have seen the benchmark from. New Egg, Linus courses, and the Chemos Nexus courses. So there's nothing. It all is just because I have both this system in my office, so I wanted to see it for myself. Actually, I am on the environment that you will have the environment that it is. I am on the system that I have done with the 12th I did face some problem because when I have the test bench on the system that I have done, I had to go with the air cooler rather than a liquid cooler. After AC room and mode. But when we did push this processor, our temperature it did run a little bit high. Our temperature, much much, at that due to core around 80, 85 chole I guess temperature. So taking that into consideration, the performance that we got out of the 12th generation system is well worthy of its name. So the performance that we got from the 12th generation system is satisfactory. Well, it's more than satisfactory. So it is, and we did have. Uh, GPU attached with both the system. Our 11th generation AJ system. That's we are running a 2070 super card on that, and our that A system. That's we are running a 3080 RTX graphics card. So, since we had a graphics card hooked up, we did run some Heaven Bench as well. So basically, our the Heaven Bench. If they give you our Tinder Guri and graphics card and bench, our the J2070 RTX graphics card. That went around let's say fps on the average fps chiller around 99 uh we had a max fps of 185 and minimum fps of 10 about the score chiller around 2500 and mark about uh another j2 generation j system chiller ekane rtx 3080 perform like 
we got an average APS of around 216. Our minimum APS chilo around 12, and maximum APS around 453, with a score of 5460. we almost both the right? So these are the findings for both these systems. Okay, guys, the results are out, and clearly, on the two generation system does a did win this battle. So, uh, what will be the fate of this system? Another age system that we are gonna transfer this whole setup into our new workstation. So, our video editor, our camera person, a boss, Agon Sadik, he's he has a very big smile on his face. <laughs> so, this is going to be our primary video editing setup for going forward, right? So, we'll be putting this system up in our uh, workstation casing. So, with any one video, Corvo. So, yeah, do subscribe. You can have video update hobby abong tar mane eta na kintu je amader je ager work session ta je 11 generation je work session amra oita keo mani retire kore dibo ba oita ke amra dismantle korbo so we'll be using the previous 11 generation er work station as a secondary work station jekhane holo i sometimes do some video editing plus amader ekhane majhe majhe onek shomoy designing er ektu chap beshi hoye jay so other designers can come into the office and use those tar jonno eta secondary Workstation so these two uh, 11900 k system and 12900 k system will be our future workstation going forward. So guys, thank you very much for watching. After today, if you to watch this video, Thank you very much. Asha kore our video apne bhala se jodi bhalo lage, kindly our video ta subscribe korben. Niche notification bell asi click on that so that future amra jokon notun aro aro kono kono boring build korbo you guys can enjoy. Thank you very much. This is Gazi Roman signing off. Next video dawa dekha.